have you ever met God? God I'll just leave that question open-ended like that. God bless you indeed. Indeed, my dear friend. Certainly, but of course, and indeed, my dear friend, so have you. God bless you indeed. For the God, my dear friend, here, the essence energy here, is not a being that indeed, my dear friend, here, exists outside of you or us or indeed, my dear friend, anything. The God essence energy, my dear friend, is the unification, the all that is, the oneness. God bless you indeed here. So indeed, my dear friend, the more and more that individuals understand their oneness, my dear friend, this unification here with the all that is, the more that they understand God, the less they start searching for God outside of themselves. The more my infant here that they find the absolute purity, the love, the joy that exists in every single moment, God bless you and deem. Not because it's been given to you, but because my infinite has always been there, God bless you and deem. So have we met God? Indeed. We are God, and so are you, God bless you indeed here. You are indeed the essence of it here. So is the very chair that you're sitting upon here. So is indeed my dear friend here, the very air that you're breathing here. God exists within and as everything, everyone, without exception. God bless you indeed. Surrender versus op opening up. Would those, is there a distinction, or, or can I, those two terms be used literally? Because in my mind, I'm allowed to surrender. I've always seen it surrender as giving up. Yeah. And I mean, I, I know it's not in that context. So could you just kind of elaborate on that yeah. distinction? God bless you indeed. Absolutely. My infant. Goodness, it's a wonderful question. Surrender, my dear friend, here is not necessarily giving up, but you can describe it, for instance, here as giving up control. God bless you, indeed. So, indeed, my dear friend, when you're surrendering, it means, my dear friend, here that you're allowing for, indeed, my dear friend, here the work or, indeed, the energy here or the experience to happen through you, by you, yes, but not solely by you. So, indeed, my dear friend, here to surrender is, indeed, my dear friend, here to, in essence, say, I know that I'm not doing this alone. Indeed, my infant here, to surrender is to indeed, my infant here, open yourself up, just as you mentioned here, to indeed what is truth, which is that there is a unification of everything. So, indeed, my infant, for instance, goodness, uh, you, you might, my infant here, say, all right, the chair is holding me up. God bless you indeed here. However, in the United Frontier, truly, goodness, when you surrender, what you recognize is that although you don't understand it here, in the United Frontier, you are sitting upon the chair and the chair is sitting upon the floor and that floor is sitting upon the ground. Now that ground, my dear friend, here, connected to the planet Earth, is indeed being held in space by the all that is, my dear friend, here, energy and gravitation here, etc. God bless you indeed. The surrendering, my dear friend, is noticing the unification of everything and knowing that indeed you are not physically with the mind indeed controlling here the specifics but you are part of the all that is that is constantly in the unification of matter and indeed my different creation God bless you indeed so surrendering like all right so we say it like this dear friend instead of saying here that surrendering is giving it up we would like to hear to say that surrendering is goodness giving it over God bless you indeed that it is opening up, God bless you indeed here, to indeed manage from the understanding that one is always being assisted, one is always being helped. So indeed the surrender is not giving up, but it is giving it over to the all that is, God bless you indeed, allowing the assistance here, God bless you indeed. It's more of an allowing here than giving up, so to speak. Does it make sense to you? Oh, yes, I guess in, 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 a more, in, a, in another tangible way, the same way as a so incoming soul gives up, uh, surrenders to the, the, and puts, basically puts themselves in, in the mother's hands and trusts that that mother is going to nurture them and love them for, and protect them. And would that be relevant, but on a different scale? Yes, absolutely. Another way my different here that you can see it, is indeed when you lay your head down to the bed and you put your head upon the pillow, my dear friend, here, you surrender your head into the pillow, you let it hold you, God bless you indeed. Indeed, my dear friend, when you, sit, you slip into a bathtub here, you're surrendering, my dear friend, here. You're letting the skin cells be opened up and indeed, my dear friend, affected here by the water, God bless you indeed. You're allowing, you're opening up, you're receiving here. Surrender is about receiving. It's about letting go of trying to control and receiving the infinite order that already is. God bless you indeed. A very other way might even to put it here is surrender takes you out of your mind and puts you into your heart space. God bless you indeed here. What would you define as a miracle? God bless you indeed. Wonderful question here. 
and die beide find right here and right now and die beide find here a good as many individuals would and die beide would experience a miracle here when something occurs that is outside of their perception of reality or probability tablish when dim and die beide find a good as many individuals here half what and die beide find here they experience as their reality their normal everyday activities here the things here that they expect tablish when dim when something occurs that is outside of their understanding or outside of and die beide find here their illusion of probability then indeed might infant here it is counted as a miracle godly sure and deem indeed everything from our perspective here is a miracle indeed but indeed might infant truly here some things that occur as miracles such as the changing of the leaves or indeed might infant here a good as a little chicken pecking its way out of an egg goodness gracious it happens every single day and because human beings might infant are very familiar with it it doesn't feel like a miracle anymore godly sure and deem But indeed, my dear friend, truly all things are happening here in miraculous, extraordinary ways. But one of the reasons my dear friend here that human beings choose planet Earth many, many times is to experience what they define as miracles, to keep themselves upon their toes, to have the occurrences here that feel as if indeed, my dear friend, they have stepped into the divine for a moment. But truly, what you know, of course, my dear friend, is that the divine never leaves. The miraculous is never uh, ending. I believe you indeed here. It's just simply a matter, my dear friend, here of, of how one perceives it or where one puts their energy here to bring it in. I believe you indeed. But indeed, my dear friend, right here and right now, as we would define a miracle. And in my infant here, there is nothing that is not a miracle. However, indeed, more blatantly, and it might have a miracle here is when something occurs. But indeed, my infant here is outside of someone's perception of probability or familiarity. God bless you, indeed. Okay, so somebody that spontaneously are in uh, having a cancer that we normally people don't uh, survive, and suddenly the cancer is gone. Where they see that as a miracle, in in effect, in reality, that's actually a, just a return to a state of normalcy. I mean, in, in its true sense. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You've hit the nail upon the head. And he might have found they consider it a miracle here because it is abnormal to what individuals before them have experienced. But indeed, my infant here, uh, truly here, uh, goodness, once again, just as you mentioned, it is a remembrance here of their unification, remembrance of their unity, my infant, with all things. God bless you, indeed, not a miracle at all. Indeed, this is why individuals, my infant, who begin to understand their connection to all things. And spend time with indeed what we call the enormity of your spirit. Spend time with the truth of who you are. They experience lives that others would look to here to count as miracles or miraculous. God bless you indeed. Indeed, my dear friend, individuals who are spending time with the divine nature and the unification here begin to create what so-called miracles over and over again, every day, many times a day. God bless you indeed here. Absolutely. Okay, so the, the the opposite side of the coin, or the flip side of that, of the cancer analogy, was that the fact that they got cancer was the fact that they, they there was a wall between them and the all that is. I mean, that's probably a simplification, but that that seems to be a logical um, response to that that perspective or that. That observation. Yes, Gabriel Shundi. Absolutely. That indeed, my dear, an individual here who has temporarily forgotten for a period of time, oh, forgotten my dear friend here over and over again. That indeed they are unified with the all that is. Absolutely. Cancer many times here produces itself within the physical body when an individual is trying to be or do things that are not in our authentic experience. Understand? There's a kind of a general debate here that when referring to someone who is bad or exhibiting qualities or characteristics that society finds unacceptable, that they are born that way, or it's the result of their upbringing, like just nature versus nurture, as it will. Can you kind of give me some thoughts on that? I believe you indeed. So, from our perspective, my dear friend, here, goodness, no one is born. My dear friend, here no human being is born bad. God bless you indeed. Here, indeed, the development here of who they are. God bless you indeed. The development, my dear friend, here of certain behaviors or certain belief systems here. This is almost always, with very very few exceptions, taught to them. God bless you indeed. Here, that through indeed, my dear friend, here their experience or through their upbringing here, indeed, my dear friend. 
they either isolate themselves or indeed might enter into uh, they uh, turn to aggression etc now indeed even these behaviors although they are considered bad or negative remember that from our perspective here all things are working for the good of all concerned so even those individuals might in frontier that might develop a rather aggressive personality or indeed might in frontier uh, would feel isolated here in which might have been other individuals might judge that indeed that aggression or that isolation here is serving here the whole or the all that is in one form or another it may not always be the preference of individuals but indeed might have been it is serving the all that is nonetheless even though might have here it's not necessarily always in a comfortable way either to individuals or to indeed might have here the individuals that are experiencing it at least you indeed but indeed might have been individuals from our perspective are born, goodness, uh, might find here, come in here to the very essence of incarnation with the absolute connection to God. There are some experiences in which individuals here in the womb pick up uh, might infant here certain energies here of worry or doubt or fear, or indeed might infant are strengthened here in their connection to the oneness. But indeed, might infant the absolute incarnation here starts and begins with 100% connection to God, 100% love, 100% fullness, without exception, always. God bless you, Undine. From our perspective, yes? Right, okay. Um, that's, yeah, that's all. That, that distinction is a grand distinction, clearly. Now, but would it be fair to say that people are born with certain, certain preferences to certain types of actions, again, that we would see as that... Um, Bad or harmful are are current are current uh, in conflict. I mean, there's certain people that are born with the, with a tendency to certain types of behavior. Let's say. Hablish would be, yes, and it might. The soul, connecting here to the soul's contracts or agreements at times, for instance, might need to work out certain things by indeed might have been connecting with more and more human beings or by indeed might have been working out certain things by being isolated. God bless you indeed. Individuals here who come in to work through levels of fear or work through might have been levels of self-judgment. God bless you indeed. But when a soul comes down to the planet Earth, might infant here, for instance, for example, if two souls might infant here have come down to the planet Earth to work out levels of fear and self judgment, when they come down to the planet Earth, dependent might infant upon who they've chosen here as their parents or their upbringing experience, indeed they can then choose to either work out that fear and self judgment in ways here of spirituality and to investigate love to indeed might infant here how certain occurrences might infant in which it turns them within to indeed might infant here to do a little bit of introspection here etc or they indeed might infant can make choices here of decisions dependent upon their upbringing here an experience to put that aggression out or to reflect the self-judgment to other individuals by judging other individuals here or indeed uh, to experience fear by expressing fear etc so indeed there is no blueprint for how an individual will work it uh, contracts or indeed might even hear that agreements out upon the planet earth indeed that is decided upon once one comes down to the planet earth so indeed the contract would be to work out self-judgment and fear for instance but how an individual does that is then decided here when indeed by the frontier the life truly begins. To understand. What is the experience like for a soul during that sleep phase and then we transition back from Earth back to the spiritual realm that they is often counter to greater or lesser degrees? Um, and would that technically be what we would term hell or purgatory? And are those two terms synonymous? I bless you indeed. Wonderful question. Indeed, my infant, that sleep period here, or indeed, my infant, what we call here the orientation period, is different for every soul. God bless you indeed. The individuals here, goodness, kind of be synonymous here with purgatory. God bless you indeed. From our perspective, different. Wonderful question here. Indeed. What is described as purgatory here and what is described as hell, goodness my infant here, we do sense that both of these things here could be used together. They are synonymous, God bless you indeed. Indeed, my infant, from our perspective here, the version of hell that is described here by uh, many my infant of the literatures here or the scripture here would talk about my infant here being separated from the essence of God or indeed my infant here existing here, my infant in an experience of mm, damnation or flame or a negative. Activity here, etc. I believe you indeed. 
All of these, from our perspective, are simply definitions for what it feels like to be or to find yourself in the illusion that you are separated from the essence of God. So indeed, my dear friend, there are some individuals here who pass from the planet Earth to the spirit side that either believe that they will go to hell, God bless you indeed, or are uncertain whether or not they have been a good person, etc. They are uncertain with what indeed my dear friend, might occur. And indeed, my dear friend, truly, good Therefore, they may find here that during this orientation period, or this sleep period here, as you call it, that indeed, my infant, although there are guides that are around them, they are surrounded by the oneness here, that because they came in to indeed, my infant, the spirit side energy, with indeed an unknown or a certainty of who they were, or indeed, my infant, their belief in hell, etc., that they will create versions of it for themselves until indeed, my infant, they are understanding that truly they are connected to the all that is, that they are not, my infant, here, a bad person here, that nothing has gone wrong, I bless you indeed. So indeed, my infant, there are some individuals, it is, um, it's uncommon, but indeed, my infant, here it does happen, that indeed, my infant, individuals truly believe at their very, very deep core that indeed my infant here, they are going to experience a version of him. Indeed my infant, but these individuals that do, they experience their perception of it, their, in essence here, their separation here from the oneness or seeming separation, until indeed my infant here, they begin to understand that that separation here is an illusion. Their guides, their guardians here, their angels work around with them, Kabbalah Shu indeed here. Indeed constantly, no matter how many times here the individual says that I am in hell or I am deserving of hell, Kabbalah Shu indeed my infant, that the individual here is then spoken spoken to by their guides, by their guardians here, by their assistants, and let them know that indeed they are the essence of God. They are loved very, very dearly, that nothing has gone wrong, I bless you indeed. So indeed, indeed, my different goodness, this hell or this purgatory, the waiting period, until an individual my different understands their connection to the all that is, it's the very same from our perspective, God bless you indeed. Indeed, my different goodness, many individuals here, most, truly minded from when they pass to the spirit side, are either minded from certain of what indeed minded from they are going to experience, or indeed minded from here, goodness, although they might be uncertain, they are feeling very, very good. They are feeling, uh, goodness, eager or excited, or indeed minded from at the very least here in the unknown, God bless you indeed. So many individuals, my infant, do not experience this purgatory or indeed my infant here, this hell experience at all. It is simply my infant a reunification almost immediately. And then when indeed that reunification occurs and indeed I understand their connection to the all that is, now they have an opportunity to indeed my infant do what we call the orientation period in which my infant, they sit with their guides knowing their oneness and then they go back over their lives to indeed my infant here look at where indeed my infant here they had forgotten their oneness one is uh, goodness their contracts that they completed, their contracts that they did not complete here. Indeed, in essence, here an opportunity to fall even deeper in love with self. God bless you indeed. Does it make sense well, to you, dear friend? Yeah, so they had for, forgotten that, that there were no goods and bads and right and wrongs and, and they and they chose to adopt feelings of guilt or shame or something self judgment based on whatever it is that they thought they did that which which leads them to believe that they're separate from God. Okay, all right, I'm just kind of thinking out loud there. But, yes. I mean, I've got it kind of, yes, I just kind of, I, it was kind of confusing for me that if there are no rights or wrongs or good and bads, why would they condemn themselves or commit themselves to to a purgatory, uh, to, to a sense of self-judgment when they don't need to be, have self-judgment? They are fully loved, so it's just because they have temporarily forgotten that. Yes, God bless you indeed. Temporarily forgotten, my dear and also, in some respects, my infant here, for instance, when an individual here is certain that they have been a good person, and that indeed, my infant here, they have done the very best they can, indeed, my infant, there are other individuals who are certain that they've been a bad person and that have gone against my infant here and what might have been good. So indeed, whether or not my infant here that is good or bad, for well, we see neither, God bless you indeed here, but indeed my infant, there are individuals here, although rare, who are just as certain that they have been bad and deserving of hell as there are individuals that are certain that they have been good and deserving of heaven, God bless you indeed. So indeed, my infant, it is the certainty as well that indeed my infant at times here creates the experience for an individual. Do you understand? What are your thoughts on suicide in general as well as your thoughts on people having the right 
to end their own life if they are suffering from a terminal illness. God bless you indeed. Minded from, from our perspective here, we see that every single time a person passes through the spirit side, that it is their choice to understand. Individuals choose when they pass through the spirit side here and how, I bless you and demon. Not consciously, certainly my infant here always, but indeed my infant here from our perspective on a spiritual level. Every single passing is indeed my infant a choice upon the ethical, I bless you and demon. So indeed my infant, whether or not an individual chooses here to take their own life, uh, the mind infant here because they are experiencing a terminal illness or indeed might have an extraordinary amount of pain or if indeed mind infant here they are uh, no longer uh, wanting here to experience the life force energy flowing through them god bless you indeed for one reason or another indeed all individuals here no matter how they choose to die no matter how mind infant the passing occurs receive the very same reception god bless you indeed they are met mind infant with the very same uh, grouping of guides and angels Angels here, and indeed, my from the parade here of honor, God bless you, indeed. So, indeed, my from our perspective, we encourage that all individuals here who have indeed their creatorhood, who indeed can manifest and choose their experiences upon the planet Earth. Indeed, my different if an individual is wanting here to take their life, either because of an illness or indeed my different here an overwhelm, indeed, my different, there is not a difference in this particular passing uh, request. Then indeed might have been a heart attack or a car accident or indeed might have been a liver disease or simply old age, God bless you indeed. So indeed might have truly him. Uh, there is no difference from our perspective. We always encourage for individuals, not only might infant here with their death process, but with all decisions, that indeed they make the choice out of love, out of eagerness or excitement of what they're wanting to go towards, not what they're wanting to get out of, God bless you indeed. Many times, my infant here, good suicide, my infant, one form or another, is neither good nor bad. God bless you, indeed, it is simply a choice. We encourage here that individuals who are contemplating this, that indeed, my infant here, good as, if they could come to a, a point in time, my infant, or to experience, in which my infant, they are fascinated by what exists upon the other side, in which my infant here, they are eager, they know absolutely, with uncertainty here, that they are quite done with this life, that they have learned all the things that they want to learn, they have indeed might have done their grand work in the formation here that now they feel complete about, and now they're eager to leap into the next experience. When individuals here to come choose, are the might infant a rather specific suicide here, or indeed, my infant here, uh, goodness, even when an individual here chooses uh, to take their own life here because of a pain or an illness here. If an individual can be excited about what is coming up, then indeed, my infant here, truly, it allows for their experience of conscious death to happen with less guilt. God bless you, indeed. What we see is that many times, when an individual consciously takes their own life, either through suicide or assisted suicide, God bless you indeed, there is a level of guilt there, God bless you indeed, of worry here, of whether or not they're doing the right thing or not. It doesn't always happen, but many times it does, God bless you indeed. And so indeed, my infant here, truly, they receive the very same reception here upon the spirit side, but sometimes, when individuals, my infant here, have taken their own lives, it is an opportunity here that they have during the orientation period to remind themselves that it's all right. They did not do anything bad, God bless you indeed here. This is not a, a bad thing here. No one was harmed by that, God bless you indeed. So indeed, my infant, many times, it simply adds just a little bit more work with an individual here to help to fall there or in love with my different themselves deeper and deeper here. Not all the time. Sometimes individuals here are knowing quite well that they're ready here to pass through the spirit side, that they're quite done here with the experience of planet Earth. And so indeed, my different, when individuals consciously take their life like this, there is very little or no guilt at all, I believe, sure indeed. But indeed, my infant, there are no rights or wrongs. Every single death is a choice, whether or not it's conscious, or indeed neither truly really here subconscious, unconscious, God bless you indeed, but it is a choice always from our perspective here. 
So it makes okay, sense. Now, putting it in, a, in the terms of like with my story and the script and everything in school, I've always kind of characterized it that, that a person is like dropping out of a class. It's kind of like you're like you're avoiding. Like usually when people take their own life, it's usually understood they were going through a very traumatic period in their life, at least as it seemed to them, and that they were they, they were in the midst of something so painful that they just couldn't face it anymore. So it was a matter of a, a situation that they avoided, and that I've always I've always understood it that. Uh, now in a future life, I mean, it's like dropping out of a class before you finish. Now you're going to have to start over again and, and start that class. That that so you're going to be presented with that same situation that you avoided the last time. So it's better just to face it now as opposed to having to have start all over and face it again at another time. I believe she would do. That it would, this sometimes happens, by the different, more often than not, from our perspective. Indeed, by the different, when individuals here are choosing a suicide, for there is sometimes an avoidance there, yes. And indeed, by the different, truly, here, it would, the subject or the class here will be presented to them again. Absolutely, I believe you indeed. Indeed, my different, it is not out of punishment, but simply here, my different, because they are wanting to repeat the class, they are wanting to do it differently here. Other times, my different, Individuals choose a suicide here because indeed my infant they are not wanting for instance here as it concerns the school metaphor They're not wanting to finish that course of study God bless you indeed So indeed my infant to come down to the planet earth my infant to work upon certain things To indeed my infant here do as much work as an individual soul wants to do in that particular course of study And then indeed my infant here to say who does have had enough of this? God bless you indeed here. I'm not wanting to finish this course of study. In the very same way here that you might go to university to study art, and indeed my infant here, good as halfway through your classes, you are indeed no longer interested in art, or indeed my infant you've learned just as much as you wanted to, God bless you indeed. And you'd rather to be a history major instead, God bless you indeed. So you would switch classes, God bless you indeed. Indeed my infant, other individuals here choose uh, suicide, my infant here, not only for their own personal reasons, reasons but also because indeed my different truly here the passing to the spirit side in this way is a powerful level of growth and openness it creates a powerful level of open, openness and growth by different for individuals around them here. Indeed, the suddenness many times of this, the shock of this many times of this here. Indeed, my infant, it uh, stirs people, it jump starts them here. Indeed, my infant here many times brings them closer here to friends or family or indeed makes them do their own self introspection. So many times, my infant here, a good a suicide is not only always here as it concerns this person, the one who has passed. Uh, goodness experience, but also how indeed my infant will affect others. In the very same way, my infant here, like school, as you talk about here, if a child decides not to be a history major any longer and indeed to shift to his, uh, to art or vice versa, God bless you indeed. But indeed, my infant here, their parents are history majors here and they were hoping that indeed my infant here, the child would become a history major too. When indeed my infant, the child shifts out of history and moves to art, it's rather jarring to the parents. They have to work through here their own experiences of self judgment here. Did they do a good job? Will the child be all right here? Are they shameful here? Are they feeling guilty that they didn't take care of things, etc., etc.? God bless you, indeed. So it is not always here that one has to start all the way over. Some day, although there is avoidance experiences, indeed, you might invent here, you've got it right. Indeed, many times here, also, it happens that indeed, might if an individual wants to change course of study, or that indeed, might if they are ready to pass to the spirit side, but instead of my infant here choosing to create an accident or a health issue, God bless you indeed, indeed choosing here to pass through the spirit side through suicide, will indeed my infant here be an extraordinary opportunity for individuals in the family or friendship circles here to do quite a lot of grander work too. Do you understand? Yeah, so you wouldn't necessarily, because I've always seen it, or at least it's, it's been expressed in a lot of areas that I've, I've read upon this. I and mean, teaching even by Edgar Casey and so forth, that, that oftentimes a person who commits suicide can incur karma on themselves. Let's say, for example, a parent, because they've left a child behind and now have left caused the pain and suffering in a matter of speaking to his child and as a result they've now incurred this person who committed suicide has incurred karma because of the pain that they caused to those that they left behind. God bless you indeed. There are occurrences of this, yes, but remember my infant here, that many times here, when experiences are being defined such as this, 
trauma is holding with it levels of victor and victim. To understand the issue in him, then in him I didn't find him. Leaving a child behind is not my didn't a good or bad thing. It may not be the preference here of many individuals, including the child, but in him I didn't find it's neither good nor bad, and indeed it's not possible for a parent by different to commit suicide without indeed by different the child's permission. In fact, without the permission of every single being upon the planet Earth. Each and every single decision, decision my different that's happening right here and right now, that ever has happened or ever will happen, has gotten a unanimous yes from every being, without exception. Indeed, my infant, if it would my infant not be the case, it will create victimhood. So indeed, when the parent chooses to commit suicide, although it is rather devastating here for indeed the child and indeed for other individuals, indeed my infant, the child is not the victim here. And indeed my infant, they have co-created with the parent. They have said yes to it here, not only for the parent's growth, but also for their growth. So to incur karma in the way that is many times defined, indeed what we see is that the parent my infant here, for instance, leaving a child behind, would create for them many opportunities for them to see later or indeed might have the next incarnation here, etc. What release or what abandonment or what indeed might have separation feels like. It would not be ever be necessary for them might infant here to look at that or indeed to work through that. But many times might infant here they would want to work through it to understand it more, I believe you indeed. So many times the way that we are hearing the karma defined is that indeed individuals here now have a necessity to go back and fix or change or alter or make up for. Indeed, from our perspective, one perspective of the universe, this is never the case for indeed my infant if there is an obligation, then indeed my infant here one is never the creator, or not always the creator here, I can bless you indeed. And from our perspective there are no victims here. There is never obligation, always free choice. Can you elaborate on what we term, whether um, the Antichrist, the devil, fallen angel, are there similarities or distinctions? God bless you, indeed. Indeed, my dear friend, truly, um, as scripture, or indeed my dear friend, here, stories might define the devil or Antichrist, or indeed my dear friend, here, fallen angels, it is all one and the same energy, truly, from our perspective here. Good as my dear friend, there are not beings here that indeed my infant are playing out what indeed your scripture or the literature my infant here might talk about as it concerns indeed the bad or the negative here. Indeed, let us give you an example. Indeed, my dear, the experience of what you might call the devil or the antichrist, God bless you indeed, is once again simply the perception of separation, God bless you indeed. So indeed, my infant here, many times here in the literature of scripture, it is spoken, my infant here, that the devil might lure you or tempt you away from indeed, my infant, the essence of God. I bless you indeed. Another way, my infant here, to explain it or to express it, would have simply, my infant here, say that indeed, my infant, truly, in the small forgetfulness here, or the absent mindedness of your own, your mind, your unification of your oneness with the all that is, indeed, my infant, that forgetfulness or that absent mindedness here, or creating rituals upon my infant here, allowing for the absent mindedness to happen over and over again, indeed, my infant, this could also be called the devil, I bless you indeed. Indeed, my infant, or just this temptation here to believe that for some reason here you may not always be connected here or that you're not might even the very reflection of God, God bless you and deem. Indeed, my dear, another version of this, my infant, although it's not talked about here in many scriptures, would be considered the ego here, the part of your mind here that wants to have you believe that indeed, my infant, you are doing many, many things alone, that indeed, my infant, here all things land upon your shoulders, God bless you, indeed. Any part of indeed, my infant, truly here, the temptation to believe that you're not already unified. This is the devil, God bless you indeed. This is uh, what our individuals call the Antichrist or fallen angels here. It's simply my infant here, an illusion. Indeed, my infant. Now, goodness, the energy of this, for some individuals, my infant here upon the planet Earth, find it comforting to indeed, my infant, uh, place a face or an energy upon a figure 
uh, which might infringe here, they might call the devil or the Antichrist, God bless you indeed. Once again, we don't think it's necessary to place a figure, or indeed might have been an entity upon it here, but indeed might have if individuals are needing to play out a role, or play out, might infringe here, a version of this, to choose one over the other. Indeed, might have an energy can manifest itself, so that individuals can do this, God bless you indeed. But knowing, of course, here, that there is only one energy in the universal oneness, and this energy simply reflects itself in different formations. We call the energy God, love, perfection, joy, can bless you indeed. The energy that individuals here would call the Antichrist or the devil or fallen angels is not, my dear friend, here, a complete separation from God, but simply, my dear friend, here, in the very same way that we give the example, that the doors to the all that is are either open wide way, or indeed, my dear friend, they are just open a wee crack. So indeed, and the doors that are open here completely are indeed might have been the essence here of God, of Christ consciousness, etc. Indeed, the doors might have been open just a wee crack are what indeed might have been individuals call the devil or the Antichrist or fallen angels. God bless you indeed. From our perspective. And, you know, I mean, I, I've always just seen it. It seemed logical that it was something a man made or, or the church made uh, to try to keep people in line. Mm -hmm. So as long as you keep coming to our church, and we, we, we will show you the path and keep you from the right path, rather, as opposed to going on the wrong path, which will take you to the devil, just mm -hmm. as a form of kind of control, uh, in, in a sense. Yes, God bless you, indeed. Absolutely. Indeed, my yeah. friend, many times here. The stories are indeed my infant here, just designed to create peace within an individual here, and just as you mentioned here at times with control as well. Remembering here that you're never separated from that peace allows that indeed my infant here, you connect deeper and deeper here to the Christ consciousness or to my infant here, the Buddha heart, or to indeed my infant here, the Krishna energy, God bless you indeed, God in all of its formations or names, absolutely. Spiritually speaking, what is our purpose or reason for being? God bless you indeed. From our perspective, my dear friend, one perspective in the universe, human beings, the souls choose incarnations as human beings to learn more and more about love. And indeed, my dear friend, here to feel it, to experience it, to express it, God bless you indeed here. And humanity, indeed the planet Earth itself, Indeed, human beings are learning about love through the aspect of emotions and also, indeed, from our perspective here, the aspects of surprise or wonderment, fascination, intrigue, etc. God bless you, indeed. So, indeed, the planet Earth is indeed one of the very, very best places here in the entire universes in which by infant here human beings or souls can have experience with emotions. No other place, indeed, my different from our perspective here upon the universes, do indeed souls or indeed my different here energies continue to work with emotions such as you do upon the planet Earth, the ups and the downs, what you would consider the goods and the bads, that indeed your judgment here of both the fear and indeed my different your judgment here are of particular levels of love. Emotional connection is one of your very biggest ways that you learn about love or you feel the lack of it, God bless you indeed here. But also, indeed, what we've been encouraging might have been fear for quite some time, is that when individual souls in human uh, form begin to remember here that part of the grand work as it concerns earthly incarnation is about remaining fascinated, intrigued, and in wonderment, that you don't actually want to know it all, that indeed might have been here, if everything was already known to you every single day of every single experience might have been of incarnation, indeed you would not choose planet Earth, you would get bored very easily, it wouldn't be fascinating, God bless you indeed. So many times when individuals are wanting to know it would just be answer to certain things, or what the period at the end of the sentence is, God bless you indeed. Although we honor this, it's very human to want to know. Indeed, when you know that you want to know, because truly, you're actually loving to dance in the fascination, you're loving to dance in the intrigue, and the emotions that that intrigue and that fascination and that wonderment bring up. Now, indeed, my infant here, these are the tricks of the tree. These are the ways in which you can utilize your most powerful tools of being human, God bless you indeed. So you're here upon the planet Earth to learn about love, to experience it, to express it here, to know that you are not separated from it in this particular lifetime or in any other, that you are connected to the all that is, that God, that love, that joy, that perfection, that oneness are interchangeable, God bless you indeed, to remember the enormity of your spirit, in essence, love. The two best ways to do this 
or indeed my infant here, to know that emotions and remaining fascinated. Your ability to be intrigued, to be wondered, and indeed my infant here, fascinated about something. These are the very best tools to fulfill the purpose. God bless you, indeed. Our frequencies, vibrations, dimensions, expanded levels of awareness, more fully connected to the oneness, to the all that is, are those terms synonymous or interchangeable? God bless you, indeed. So, indeed, my infant, you're wondering whether or not you could just, um, Terminology here, such as frequencies, vibrations, uh, dimensions, here, etc. Are they synonymous or interchangeable, my infant, here, um, uh, with connection to the all that is? Is this the question? Um, yeah, we'll go with that. I mean, I, I, I could probably fine tune it, but we'll start with that. I bless you, indeed. So, indeed, my infant, through your frequencies and vibrations, and indeed levels of dimension, you discover your connection or your oneness here with all that is. So when your frequency is lower, you don't feel as strongly a connection with the all that is. When your frequency is higher, you do feel that connection, God bless you indeed. So they are not necessarily synonymous, but indeed my different, uh, the vocabulary words that you've used in the beginning, frequency, vibration, levels of dimension, etc. here, these are pathways to feeling, uh, good as my infant, uh, the energy here of the connection. You're always connected. You're always connected here. There is no separation ever. But sometimes you feel that connection more strongly and sometimes you don't, dependent upon your level of uh, good as frequency of vibration here or dimension. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Yes, it does. Now, would, um, would that say, for instance, Earth, uh, where you are, would you, would that be considered a higher dimension than where There is some accuracy in this. Even deeper, once again, we know that you like us to speak in the simplest of terms, but so the simplest of answer is yes. However, indeed, my infant, the very deep truth is that you are existing here upon our plane and we are existing upon your plane as well. God bless you, indeed. We spend more conscious time in indeed a higher dimension. But indeed, my infant here, you are in that higher dimension too, because you can never not be in that dimension. There is no separation, God bless you indeed. But you spend more of your conscious awareness in this particular experience in indeed a third or a fourth or a fifth dimension here experience, as you're experiencing upon the planet Earth, God bless you indeed. So you're more aware, consciously, of where you are vibrating here at certain uh, fourth and fifth dimensions, Whereas we would, my infant here, uh, would displace more of our consciousness or more, my infant here, of our physical awareness. And indeed, my infant here, uh, would higher dimensions here, the 11th uh, dimensions, etc. I bless you indeed here. So indeed, my infant, it's not possible to be separated. We exist at 3rd and 4th and 5th dimensions too. You exist at 11th and 12th and 13th dimensions. But um, to answer the question succinctly, what we might where we might spend most of our conscious time, or where indeed my infant we associate ourselves with, is indeed my infant at a higher frequency here than you are in the moment, where you associate yourself with more predominantly. Does it make sense to you? Yes, yes. It was, uh, it's kind of like where, it, I mean, this it might be a rough analogy, but it'd be like if I was looking out over the horizon, if I focus my attention closer, then... Uh, that would be in a different kind of my, that's where my attention is, as opposed to if I shifted my viewpoint, my vision to a, to a farther off distance, to a wider perspective. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, you see where I'm going that with there. I'm, I'm still me, I'm still Kevin, I'm still in there now. It's just where my attention is focused, so to speak. Yes, wonderful analogy. For any, when you are, for instance, if you're looking at the horizon, and indeed, my when you are looking at something close, the waves crashing upon the shore, for instance, can bless you indeed. Your eyes are still seeing the horizon. Your eyes are still seeing the sun setting, or indeed, my infant here, as good as the cloud arrangement here, but where you're focused is upon the waves crashing upon the shore. So you're catching it all, you're taking it all in, but the focus upon the waves. So if you were to focus your attention here upon the horizon, upon the sun setting or the clouds, then you would also be seeing the waves, but your focus would be upon the horizon, the cloud structure, God bless you, indeed. So you exist everywhere, you're seeing it all, 
But where you focus, just as you mentioned here, wonderful, wonderful metaphor, where you focus is what you assign yourself to. It's what you, where you spend the time focusing is um, how you usually gauge yourself or indeed how you process the energy. So you've got it right about the head, right? the nail upon the head. The higher dimension, what kinds of things can you learn in there that might not be you know, available to be learned to where I am, first, let's say. Yes, wonderful question. The very best way to answer it is to say that when you're focused upon the seventh dimension, you have less resistance, you have less walls in front of you to see the love that you're actually, uh, that you are, that you are actually trying to expand within. So indeed, my infant, when you are existing here at a third or fourth dimension, there are many, many walls. The ego here will say, you have to go get this love. You have to be worthy of it. Indeed, if you did this, if you crossed T's, if your daughter dies, if you read this book, if you uh, made a retreat here to Bali, if indeed my infant here, etc., etc., if you learned this, etc., I can bless you indeed. There are many walls of what the mind here would put up as indeed tests or uh, goodness, hills uh, to climb, uh, walls to leap over, God bless you indeed, that you would have to, that you believe that you have to do in order to get to the love. At the seventh dimension, indeed there are less walls. You understand that love is who you are. And so indeed you may still find that the ego says, all right, let me do better at meditation, let me drop down deeper into it here in order to get to it here. But indeed at the seventh dimension you understand more and more powerfully that the love that you're seeking is never outside of you, that it's within you. So indeed any walls that you might have are about how to reveal it instead of the walls that you have at a third or fourth dimension are how to get it. God bless you indeed. What does one do in, for one, let's say, in the seventh dimension? Yes. One can do, just as you mentioned, everything might infant here that you're doing now at a third or fourth dimension. The difference might infant here is, just as you mentioned, the vibration. So indeed might infant. Oh, the difference is the energy behind something. So let us give you an example. If you are speaking to someone, my dear friend here, and they are just listening to you, they are nodding their head, they are saying an aha or a hum every now and then, but you can sense that they're not really hearing you, that they are placating you, or they're listening just enough to be polite, but they're not truly hearing. <clears throat> Indeed, my dear friend, this is what it feels like a little bit to be in third and fourth dimension. When you're in seventh dimension, it feels as if you're speaking to someone and they're truly hearing you. They're tuned in. They're powerfully connected. Indeed, you not only feel heard, but indeed, my infant here, would you feel the deep connection to them? So you've had moments or times during your life in which you had a wonderful day or a beautifully connected moment, God bless you indeed. Many times, these are indeed mindful moments where you are dipping into even fifth and sixth and seventh dimension, God bless you indeed, energy. So it's not necessarily changing what you do, it's changing how you do it, God bless you indeed. But indeed, my dear friend, even making love can be done here at a third dimension. But when indeed, my dear friend, you are making love here in seventh dimension energy, then it is profound, it is powerful, God bless you indeed here. It is a healing upon many, many different levels, not just of the physical body. So indeed, my dear friend, Judy, what does one do when they are in seventh dimension? Very frequently you do the same things you do now, except you do them with more presence, more love, and with less of a feeling of separation. You have less of that illusion. You have more understanding of your connection to everything. There's a lot of groups and cultures um, here that use various types of hallucinogenic substances to elicit a religious or vision quest type of experience. What are your thoughts on that? I bless you indeed. Indeed, my dear friend. Whatever is resonating with your heart space, whatever brings you joy, I bless you indeed, we encourage. Indeed, my dear friend, many times here, the cultures or indeed, my dear friend, here, the groupings that would use these particular hallucinogenics, that it is a very good way for individuals here to understand that a deeper connection with the all that is, to get a brief sighting of indeed, my dear friend, here, their interwoven nature with all things. Can I bless you indeed? Indeed, my dear friend, this has been occurring here uh, since the very dawn of time as it concerns human beings upon your planet Earth. Indeed, my dear friend, uh, goodness, uh, hallucinogens, whether or not, my dear friend, they are being chemically made here, or indeed they are being naturally occurring, my dear friend, here, and utilized through, uh, goodness, my dear friend, the raising of temperature, or indeed, my dear friend, here, the steeping of teas and leaves, etc. But indeed, my dear friend, 
we were to see that you would assume nothing is either right or wrong, that if it resonates with you here, that if indeed my different here, it's something that brings fascination to you, if it brings intrigue, I bless you indeed, if you're fascinated with the ways in which my different you can tap into different levels and layers of your understanding or your physical form or your emotions, God bless you indeed here, if it brings you into more wonderment, God bless you indeed, if it allows for you to question more and more, then we would absolutely encourage this, God bless you indeed. Indeed, in the very same way, my different that we would ask that uh, upon this human incarn incarnation here, if you're wanting to explore and experience as many countries as you can, then we encourage it, God bless you indeed. My infant, other individuals might say, but doesn't it feel bad not to settle down? Or uh, don't you want to just be one place for a bit of time? But certain other individuals here say, absolutely not. I want to experience new people, new languages, new food, new experiences, God bless you indeed. Some individuals might infant upon the planet Earth have no interest in hallucinogenics or indeed might infant here the ceremonies or medicine work here that might go with them. That's all right. Uh, goodness, they are not uh, might infant here goodness, wrong or right. Those individuals here that have a fascination for it, who indeed do want here to access different parts of the physical brain, to activate might infant here certain aspects here of the uh, mental work, then we say hip hip hurry, God bless you indeed. It's simply a preference. But truly at the core, we would encourage that anything that brings you joy and also elicits fascination and is loving for you, then we encourage it. God bless you indeed. Now the wonderful thing about humanity is that indeed the things that elicit fascination and bring you joy and bring you more love, have you feeling more love, are not always the same thing for everyone. God bless you indeed. This is what makes human beings on the planet Earth such a wonderful place to be. Yes? Uh, yes, that's really So somebody having a mystical experience or just a, a trip or it's characterized and described in different ways. I mean, the experience, I mean, I mean, if it's amazing to them or magical to them in their own way, is the experience or what they see is, is valid, let's say, because, I mean, it can be easily perceived that, well, it was just in my imagination. It wasn't real. It was the drugs that made me have... have had these visions, but now that I'm back and the drugs aren't having an effect or they've gone out of my system, then I don't have I don't have that same viewpoint or that same deep insight that I had only in the experience. So it must have just been in my imagination. So I guess again, is is the experience is it is it a valid experience? That's the best word I can come up with at the moment. Yes, good question. And it might have been from our perspective, yes, it is always a valid experience. This is because no substance, whether or not my infinity is food or drink or indeed my infinity is hallucinogenic in this case, no substance can create something with you or in you or for you that isn't already in you. God bless you indeed. So all substances simply open up the door to what already exists in you. Because this is because my different nothing ever happens to you. Yes. So for instance, if one individual here were to take a hallucinogenic, and they were to, as you talk about here, go upon a journey of mysticism, of magic here, of indeed seeing things that feel indeed by different here, very unlikely, can bless you indeed. Indeed. We understand. So indeed, your guides are wanting us to explain it like this. If, for instance, they are watching the leaves of a tree come alive and indeed by different here to do a dance in and all of themselves. They might be, through the hallucinogenic or through the use of the body from here, the drug or the medicine, they might be seeing it as very comical. They might be seeing it here as very an animated here. They might be seeing it like a cartoon or like my different here, a, a dance of characters, can bless you and deem. That is the mind's perception of what is occurring. But what they're seeing, my dear friend, is the dance of the leaves that happens each and every single day. So their mind might be perceiving the dance of the leaves as comical or animated, where indeed another individual here would look at the tree and indeed my infant here see the leaves growing, I bless you indeed, right before their very eyes, which is also happening, but indeed my infant here you wouldn't perceive it like this without the medicine or the drug, I bless you indeed. So the medicine or the drug can't do anything to you. It can simply open up uh, good experiences or variances my infant here of the physical brain, that will sense it, have a perception of it differently, I bless you indeed. In the very same way, and indeed my different you can stand two individuals in front of a painting, and indeed my different here rather abstract, 
and ask each individual what they see, most likely both individuals will come up with a different answer, but they're looking at the same painting. But indeed, mind if they're looking through different sets of eyes, different sets of perceptions of the mind, of the brain, so indeed, one particular drug, or hallucinogenic, or indeed might have been medicine, or indeed might have been interacts here with different people differently. So as you talk about, is it valid? Absolutely. But indeed might have been, we would say that what you see, exactly what you see, the form of it, is not necessarily what we would ask you to concentrate upon, but indeed might have been the perception that you get, the feeling that you have looking at it, and he might have that is what we would ask for you to concentrate upon. So the mind can see a purple bunny rabbit, I can bless you indeed, while you are working with hallucinogenics or medicine or drugs. Does it mean, might have that the mind has imagined a purple bunny rabbit, I can bless you indeed? Well, we suppose. But indeed, might have truly. Most likely here, especially might have here with natural hallucinogenics, truly might have the mind has opened you up and shown you the purple body rabbit because indeed it's a very good way to indeed elicit a response of emotion from you. Or that indeed might have here, this is an availability here to show you symbolism upon a certain level. This is why we always encourage that when you're utilizing might have here particular drugs or hallucinogenics, etc., here. That indeed might have been truly, you remember here that all things, all substances here can be medicine if they are indeed might have been treated as such, or they can be drugs as treated as such, I bless you and deem. The very same effect, the very same hallucinogenic here, if taken might have been here to escape one's reality, we would certainly call that a drug. If it is taken might have been here truly to investigate one's reality, to go deeper and deeper here, go just past the veils of one old might have been here physical perceptions. If there's investigation, if there's fascination, if there's intrigue, now it is medicine. God bless you indeed. So indeed might have been truly is it a valid experience? Always a valid experience. Indeed might have been the mind might be oh goodness. It is simply showing you something. Does the purple bunny rabbit exist? No, not physically, but indeed my did find here uh, the auric energy, the symbolism, the symbology here. It does exist, can bless you indeed. So we encourage this type of investigation if it is being used as investigation. If it is being used as goodness, removal or separation or uh, good as being utilized here as mm, avoidance of one's own life. There are no rights or wrongs. But we would ask an individual here to be centered, to take a moment before they engage within it, if they are trying to remove from their existence. If they're trying to investigate their existence, we encourage it. God bless you and you. Does that make sense to you? Thank you for that, that, that final clarification. I'm glad you made that distinction. Ghost hunting and locating places that are haunted are, are popular activities. Can you just, we'll start out, can you just tell me, give me a general sense of ghosts and what, what are they, why are they, and so on? I believe you indeed. Remembering first and foremost that all things upon the universal oneness are happening with and for the good of all concerned. So there are times in which my infinitum, what you refer to as ghosts, are indeed individual spirits, that indeed my different here have chosen to remain cl very close to the planet Earth, can bless you indeed. Are the my different here to indeed work out certain aspects here of their contracts, of their agreements, or sometimes my different they are not quite ready or wanting here to go fully to the spirit side here. Even the ghosts are surrounded my different here by their guides, their guardians, can bless you indeed. So there are times in which my infant here, these haunts, these ghosts, God bless you indeed, these spirits, who are very close to the planet Earth and indeed my infant not being felt or indeed my infant here being seen. When individuals say that they are stark, they are not necessarily stark, but they are making a choice for the moment here to stay closer to the planet Earth and to spirit side here, even after their passing here, still working out their contracts and agreements, still working with their spirit guides, still my infant here, allowing for themselves to see themselves as the light. God bless you indeed. 
had also mighted Fynn at times. Indeed, spirits mighted Fynn here on places that are haunted, so to speak, because indeed mighted Fynn here, there has been a request by human beings, by indeed mighted Fynn to earthly people here, to indeed have connections here to ghosts, I believe you indeed here. That, for instance here, if indeed an individual upon the planet Earth is wanting to encounter is fascinated about encountering here a ghost or indeed might have been here a spirit such as this. If they're fearful about encountering it, but indeed would like to get over that fear, there are indeed spirits who indeed, uh, good as working for the good of all concerned, will choose to come back to this human being or choose to come in a particular experience, God bless you indeed, or a place, in order might have been here to fulfill the desires or the wishes or the wants here of individuals. So indeed, for instance, many places here that are haunted, God bless you indeed, as you might call them, that indeed, truly, there's just quite a lot here of spiritual activity there, but that always occurs. But indeed, the individual places here that you see are haunted, or indeed human beings will call haunted, but indeed might even simply label this, because individuals, over a period of time, indeed might even have been more and more aware of the spirit activity there, God bless you indeed. So if, for instance, here you have a house, or indeed a uh, good as a hotel, or indeed might have been a good as, mm, uh, good as a dance hall, for instance, it is quite old, that indeed might have been here. There have been many stories, many sightings here of ghosts, and indeed might have been many stories told about them, God bless you indeed. Indeed, my dear friend, goodness here, these individuals over a period of time have just been tapping into, and indeed being particularly more open here, more receptive to the spiritual activity that's always been going on, God bless you indeed. In actuality, my dear friend, here, goodness, uh, how an individual describes haunting might different it might differ. But remember that you're surrounded by spiritual energy at all times. Your guides, your guardians, your angels, indeed might infant here, all of those that have passed before you here. There is no separation, so they're never removed from you, God bless you indeed. It's only a matter of how powerfully and intensely you experience their presence, God bless you indeed. So indeed, we like to tease here that everything, everywhere upon your planet Earth is haunted, God bless you indeed here. Everything and everywhere, my dear friend here, is filled with spiritual activity and indeed my dear friend, powerful connections here to indeed my dear friend, those of past on. It's simply a matter of indeed my dear friend here, what individual places here are indeed uh, good as mm, more people are being more open here and receptive to feeling it, God bless you indeed. And many times, Indeed, certain places, because there have been stories after stories after stories told about it, can be issue indeed. Indeed, more individuals are open here to feeling the presence that's always been there, can be issue indeed. Does it make sense to you? Yes, yeah, so as a ghost, I mean, somebody who's, I mean, uh, it's a place that's, like you said, it's uh, really hot here. Or it just it seems the haunting or the energy seems particularly strong. A ghost that they even makes itself visible to be seen. Now, is that that soul? Have they reached the orientation process yet? Or I, I guess I kind of looked at it when somebody's died that they they refuse to leave here, so they haven't moved on. They haven't gone down the proverbial um, uh, the tunnel to the white light. So would that be accurate that they have not reached? the orientation process yet? I believe sure, indeed. It is not always accurate. Sometimes it is true, yes. Or indeed, my dear friend here, uh, goodness, my dear friend, they are still going back and forth in and out of their orientation process. So indeed, frequently that is true. It's an individual here who has not said yes to indeed the entire leap to indeed, my dear friend here, the spirit side here, to indeed, uh, goodness, not remove, but to put more of their focus upon spirit than upon planet. But there are some what you would call ghosts, or indeed might have been spirits here, who simply make themselves aware, or allow for their presences to be felt to those that are open, because they are here to be of service, God bless you indeed. They are helping individuals here to indeed might have been sense spirit, or individuals here that want to have a cosmic encounter here with indeed might have been here the other side. That there are spirits might have been who will be willing, good as even after that orientation period, to make themselves seen or known, or to deliver messages, God bless you indeed. If it is a benefit, my dear friend, here to the human being or indeed to the experience, God bless you indeed. So, there are both kinds, please. Are there children in the astral plane, or I guess it would be probably more accurate to ask if there are souls who choose to have themselves perceived in that form? Yes, God bless you indeed. So indeed, the soul itself does not have an age, yes? 
but indeed my infant here. Even when, uh, certainly here, we might joke about old souls or young souls, God bless you, indeed my infant here. Uh, there is no beginning and no end, yes? So there are, the souls themselves do not have age, but indeed, many times my infant here, yes, that if it's, uh, the souls want, or if indeed my infant here, their connection with their spirit, uh, goodness, my infant, their planet Earth, or indeed my infant here, the individuals around them, or if, for instance, a soul upon the spirit side is working as a guide to indeed an individual, and that individual would be benefited if indeed this soul came to them in a child form, or indeed my infant in a younger formation, then the soul will take on indeed a younger formation here, or a childlike vision, God bless you indeed. So indeed, my different here, absolutely. There is no soul's age, but indeed there are moments, and indeed certain souls that prefer to show themselves here in a childlike form, or that will do so if it is for the benefit, my different here, of those that are perceiving them. Indeed, wonderful question. Okay, so let's say a family here or a mother here had a child who, who passed on, and when they were a child, it's very possible that when the mother passed on, that soul might choose to, because he knew, they knew the mother was wanting to go to heaven, and when they got there, wanting to encounter this child that went on before them 20 years earlier, they might choose to present themselves as a child to greet that incoming soul that was their mother. Absolutely. You feel the nail upon the head. Indeed, might have been many, many times in fact. Indeed, truly here, the soul will show themselves, my different here, to the incoming uh, goodness individual here, uh, goodness my different, in the formation here that is most pleasing to them. Absolutely, God bless you indeed. And indeed, when, for instance, here, the mother adjusts here to the orientation pity, then indeed my different here, uh, goodness begins to understand that there is no separation here, that souls don't have ages, that indeed all is one energy. Then indeed, my infant here, there are times in which the mother begin, may begin here to experience or to perceive the child as different, God bless you indeed, either older or possibly younger or without form at all, God bless you indeed. But you've hit the nail upon the head here. When there is the first greeting and work being done with the soul, God bless you indeed, God is almost entirely, almost always here, the soul shows itself in indeed my different formation here that would be most pleasing here to the incoming soul. Do you have animals where you are? Yes, God bless you indeed. Certainly. My infant here. The souls of animals, my different are spirits as well, so indeed. Absolutely, God bless you indeed here. Just as indeed you asked about spirits showing themselves as children, there are indeed my infant certainly aspects here of spirits that prefer to take animal form. So indeed, certainly my infant here. Now, once again, goodness. The very best way to describe it here is to remind you that from our perspective, certain spirits perceive certain other spirits or other experiences differently. So, for instance, upon spirit side, there might be my infant here, a spirit that shows itself as a wolf to one individual, but another individual sees this spirit as a person or as a bird, God bless you indeed. So, indeed, in the very same way here that upon spirit side, if we were walking along with you, we could have the perception that we were walking along here in a forest. But if you preferred, you could walk along with us, but have the perception here that we were walking along upon a wonderful bridge, God bless you indeed. It's about perception here upon the spirit side here. Can you tell me about the Egyptian pyramids? I mean, who built them and what is their purpose? God bless you indeed. They are monuments, my dear friend here, from our perspective. They were built, my dear friend here, with quite a lot of um, assistance, both from my dear friend here, man and labor, my dear friend here, of human beings, as well as indeed, my dear friend, inspiration and assistance, my dear friend here, from uh, your uh, ETs, your experiences, my dear friend here, of those upon other planet Earth, God bless you indeed, upon other planets, etc. Indeed, my dear friend, they are monuments of, uh, not only as you know here, are uh, very frequently burial sites or indeed my infant here, connections here to monuments of structure, of power, of indeed my infant here, uh, goodness, um, queens, kings, pharaohs, etc. God bless you indeed. But there are also monuments by the infant here of uh, goodness, geography and geometry here. Indeed, connections here to star systems and indeed my infant here, uh, goodness, beacons, so to speak. I've indeed my from what you would call mathematical equations here, mathematical experiences here, but to languages, and indeed my infant here, to the interconnection here that indeed you are just now discovering here that you have with off planetary beings. So indeed we do absolutely see here that quite a lot of the connection here to the pyramids 
indeed might infant have a connection to off planetary beings not only with the help in building the might infant here the uh, goodness the intrigue but also here the technology to build them and indeed might infant here were to have placement of certain things or indeed might infant here the um, goodness um, the mathematics here of it can lay you indeed but also very simply structures of reverence Structures of availability might infant here to hold and to house might infant here those that were held in a deified position. God bless you indeed. Indeed, my dear, they are quite magical from our perspective. The experience might infant here of the pyramids is just now beginning here from our perspective to be discovered. You will find that in the next 25 to 55 years that more and more about your pyramids might infant here becomes certainly would have discovered. God bless you indeed. And not only might infant the interesting facts and uh, goodness figures here etc but also the cosmic connection here the pyramid shape itself dear friend God bless you and team, to uh, goodness here be working here with this particular geometric shape that geometric shape is very very profound it holds a very strong frequency of energy it's a very powerful powerful and profound uh, goodness, uh, what we'll call vortex God bless you and team. so even an individual minded from has an opportunity to sit underneath the pyramid shape, even if indeed by different, you might goodness, put a pyramid shape, possibly by different here in three dimensions above your head during meditation. It's a powerful vortex, indeed, my different, truly. For those that are buried within my different here, the pyramids, goodness, there is profound and powerful connection to indeed a very powerful transition to the afterlife but also might infant here to indeed uh, their connection here to the other side uh, goodness gracious here once again we do see them as powerful beacons but also you're just beginning to discover what indeed might infant here they are truly housing okay um, well, no, that's great. when um, can you tell me uh, I guess the, when were they built? I mean roughly the, the time period Indeed, indeed, my different here. What your historians might different he would talk about now is indeed my different relatively accurate. God bless you, indeed. That indeed my different here. Goodness, that is slight inaccuracy. My different here as it concerns. Goodness, not only my different here dates and times, but indeed my different the experience here of being able my different to not just build, but indeed my different goodness here to have the technology. To build, indeed, my dear friend, truly, here, goodness, the technology and the ahas came much before the actual building of them. Yes, I bless you, indeed. Indeed, my dear friend, here, goodness, much of the dreams, and indeed, my dear friend, what was discovered here in dreams, goodness, the connection here, indeed, my dear friend, goodness, the off-planetary beings, my dear friend, truly, here. Would as much of this occurred before, indeed, my dear frontier, they were built in total, God bless you, indeed. So, good as quite a lot here of what we'll call the pre building. Indeed, my dear friend, good as this occurred in the cosmic reality. So, now, oh good as it's wonderful here when we get to talk about this, for indeed, truly, the pyramids themselves, they are, although they are structures, indeed, my dear frontier, they hold and they house a tremendous energy of their very own, their very experiences, God bless you and team. Indeed, my dear friend, at long last here, good as, wow, wonderful work, God bless you, indeed, your guides are just simply showing us here more and more that indeed, even as human beings here, you have yet to discover all of indeed, my dear friend, the structures that have been built, God bless you, indeed. But indeed, my dear friend, here, truly, what we see here is that indeed, my dear friend, goodness, most of your pyramids here that you're currently aware of, God bless you, indeed, were built around uh, goodness about 2000 uh, year BC, God bless you indeed, about between 20 to 22 to 2500 BC, God bless you indeed, my dear friend here, approximately here. This is when they began here to build the structures from our perspective, God bless you indeed. But quite a lot of the internal and indeed my dear friend here, goodness, what we'll call the pre work being told in dream work and indeed my dear friend here in visitation how to build them why they were necessary i bless you indeed here the communication here with all planetary beings and the star systems here this happened my dear friend here for generations even before that i bless you indeed quite uh, goodness in physical time 
as it concerns my different here, goodness, yes, how old, goodness, what are your perception here of time and space? Indeed, we suppose that indeed my different here, they were born quite, they were born quite a while ago. But of course, my different here, as you understand that there is no sense of time and space. How wonderful that indeed you are still yet in have my different, you still yet have to, goodness, uncover certain pyramids. God bless you indeed here. So were those pyramids built, I mean, I, I think a lot of people have always pondered how, I mean, even now, if, I mean, if we were, if man with all of our relatively advanced technology and, and stone cutting equipment were attempt to build it, it would be, it would be a daunting task now, even today. So it was thought, I mean, the people who ascribed to the idea that it was that they were assisted in the building with extraterrestrials I had machines that could carry those huge stones, I mean, long distances and cut them precisely and help fit them together. I mean, was alien technology assisted in the actual building of structure? Yes, that is sure indeed here. We absolutely see my different here that all planetary beings, through indeed their discovery of technology and indeed my different here, their availability to assist, was absolutely being utilized here. Indeed, my different truly here, much of what you would call the connection or indeed the communication here with what Egyptians, indeed my different that shows up here in Egyptology, the communication with the gods, that is sure indeed here. And indeed, my different, not all, but much of this here is indeed my different here, the Egyptians, and indeed my different here, the inscriptions, being my different here, referring to uh, goodness of planetary beings here. Not gods as you would worship now, or indeed my different as many religions would worship at the moment, God bless you indeed, but indeed my different, certainly of planetary beings, having a deep connection here, physically, with indeed my different here, the Egyptians and the individuals my different here at that period of time. Absolutely, God bless you indeed. But not only my different here during that period, and not only my different in that particular place upon your planet Earth. And good, uh, good as my different here, as you have studied, my different here, Kevin, we beat here, that in many, many different places here, in many different parts of the planet Earth, indeed you find structures, and indeed my different here experiences, and indeed my different, truly, uh, goodness, what <coughs> powerfully assisted by indeed my different, <coughs> the off planetary beings. Not only with technology, but tools, and also my different goodness, the availability here to discover how to do it here. Not, mm, we understand. It's not always my different here. And indeed, the off planetary beings would have built these experiences. There's some cases in which my different here, they did, or their help was assisted. But indeed, having the my different relay the technology. Having the my different here, you could bring to light here the ahas or indeed my different here, the experiences of dreams in which individuals suddenly awoke and had the idea to, you could just work with certain pulleys and systems by different here of construction, but also, indeed, indeed very particularly here as it concerns my different the pyramids, as you ask about <clears throat> the geometry of them, dear. Goodness, how many sides, goodness, my different here, how tall, goodness, the length of each side, etc. God bless you indeed. Much of this was brought to human beings here, not via the communication here, for instance, with goodness, my different off planetary beings physically, but indeed, my different here, through the openness of communication and dream state or meditation here or visitation, God bless you indeed. So indeed, the very technology here, the very assistance of these uh, good buildings happen, my different here, uh, sometimes with direct communication, direct communication here with the off planetary beings, the ideas, the pre-planning here, the geometry of it, very frequently came in dreams. It's kind of a silly, fun question. I, I, I mean, because you, obviously, you... You connect, I mean, by your spirits, you connect, I mean, I tell Pat to in a matter of speaking. Are you able to kind of have fun with each other, pull pranks, tell each other jokes? Because it seems like you wouldn't be able to because the other person would already know the punchline. God bless kind you. Of thing. Can you have fun with each other in ways similar to that? God bless you, team. It is possible, absolutely, here. And it might have good as what you might call humor, or indeed might have been here, good as uh, experiences here of laughter, occur might have been here upon the spirit side. It is different, uh, good as once again here. Uh, pranks, uh, good as this is. Uh, as you define them, my different, is very uncommon upon the spirit side. God bless you indeed here. Indeed, my different, instead, 
there's a lot of revelry. There is simply a lot of celebration, and Dean. In the very same way, my infant here, that you might uh, would, uh, celebrate something, a party, or indeed my infant here, dance to music and laugh, my infant here, at the very music and the dancing and the movement here, and the being twirled around, Gableshu indeed here, twirled or twirling here, the ways in which my infant here, you might giggle like children here as you dance around the maypole, or indeed might even swing upon a swing. The laughter, my infant here that occurs in these forms is what my infant here is being held in the universal oneness. Jokes or praying, such as you expect the my infant here upon the planet Earth, are rather uh, they're very, very uncommon, God bless you indeed here. And even my infant here when they occur, they simply occur my infant here for an individual to get a taste of it again, God bless you indeed here. But indeed my infant, truly, the revelry, the grandest celebration, the excitement, the uh, the giggle that an individual has here when they are being pushed upon a swing or riding upon a roller coaster or indeed my infant here, the laughter of indeed my infant here, no good as just being in the company of wonderful friends, wonderful family, wonderful music, wonderful experiences here, watching indeed my infant here, two kittens or puppies here play together, God bless you indeed here, the laughter my infant here that sometimes comes, watching my infant uh, little one here blow bubbles, God bless you indeed here for the very first time. Indeed, these are not laughter here at jokes or indeed my infant here at pranks, but laughter at the beauty, laughter my infant here at the extraordinary happiness, the glee, the goodness, the bliss that one feels. This is what very, very frequently happens upon the spirit side, I bless you indeed. Indeed, uh, goodness, pranks or jokes as you experience the mind infant here, human in that respect, is quite unique to indeed my infant here to the planet Earth, God bless you indeed. Once again, you like to have senses here, and indeed my infant, uh, goodness, the uh, usage of words to indeed my infant create, uh, goodness, double entendres, etc. here. This is a rather unique experience here upon planet Earth. It's one of the reasonings here that planet Earth is so fun when one can allow it. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wonderful question. Excellent question, dear friend. We love you as we are so very, very dearly, my dear friend. Once again, you're doing wonderful work, not only with your continued yes as it concerns your work in the world, but also, my dear friend, your continued yes as it concerns your inner expansion. Thank you for loving yourself this deeply. So until next time, my dear, we ask you to go your way in peace and love and harmony, to remember that life is a grand adventure, and there is no there to get to, there is only the journey to your very own heart. And as we always like to say, a very good way to remember that you are already enlightened is just to continue to lighten up just a little bit more. We love you so very, very dearly, my dear friend. You are perfection ever revealing more perfection. Until next time, we love you, we thank you, God bless you. I sincerely hope you enjoyed my video and that you found something that you can apply to your life that will bring you to a greater sense of purpose and joy.